Certainly over the years, epidemiological data, animal model data, um, and uh, data from clinical studies has shown that aspirin reduces the incidence of colorectal cancer by about 40%. Um, so we do know that this drug works at a population level. I've been very interested thinking about colorectal cancer and thinking about um, the uh, causation behind colorectal cancer and we now um, have a lot of information that suggests colorectal cancer is largely an environmental disease um, with a 65% contribution from the environment in terms of diet and lifestyle uh, with the remainder being heritable. We also know that aspirin works at a population level in reducing uh, colorectal cancer incidence and so what I was interested in doing uh, is to try and work out whether uh, we have some of these risk factors such as obesity, lack of physical activity um, and uh, diabetes and metabolic syndrome which are all associated with colorectal cancer, whether there are specific signaling pathways within cells um, that have increased activity um, with a change in energy balance and what I'm trying to do is to investigate whether aspirin realigns some of this deranged metabolic machinery within cancer cells and in patients. We've been uh, uh, looking specifically at a pathway uh, called the AMPK and mTOR signaling pathway um, and we were the first to show that aspirin activates the AMPK kinase um, in colorectal cancer cells in an animal model um, and indeed in patients who were treated with aspirin. And we also see that aspirin inhibits the mTOR kinase and its downstream readouts. And so why is mTOR important? Um, we know that aberrant or increased mTOR activity has been seen in several cancers, including colorectal cancer, um, with an increase in, in an increase in protein production, which is one of the hallmarks of cancer. So what we're trying to see is that through inhibiting um, mTOR, whether we are then getting a decrease in protein translation, which we have seen, and to try and investigate whether there are specific proteins that are being um, inhibited in, that are relevant to colorectal cancer initiation and then progression um, to more advanced disease. The data that we have shows that aspirin activates the AMPK kinase um, and inhibits mTOR and induces autophagy uh, within colorectal cancer cells and new data that I've presented uh, here today shows that aspirin inhibits protein translation um, and some of these effects are likely to be mTOR dependent um, but there are also mTOR independent effects um, of aspirin on the translation of proteins. One of the reasons why some of the mTOR inhibitors, some of the specific mTOR inhibitors, have been a little bit disappointing in clinical trials um, is the issue of feedback signaling and negative feedback signaling. Um, and I think the, the advantage of using aspirin in trying to interrogate these signaling pathways is that it is likely to inhibit several key nodes within a pathway um, to try and abrogate effects of negative feedback signaling. We know that with specific mTOR inhibitors, in solid cancers such as colorectal cancer, um, they haven't shown uh, as much of a decrease um, uh, in the uh, overall survival uh, and cancer-specific uh, can cancer survival. So I think here aspirin may well have an advantage by targeting multiple nodes within this uh, aberrant pathway. There are certainly trials which are ongoing um, to try and uh, uh, combine uh, mTOR inhibitors um, with uh, MAP kinase inhibitors and you know and, and and the same thing in terms of trying to to target several nodes within an aberrant cancer pathway where aspirin may have the advantage and certainly some of our data from the lab suggests this is that it is in fact targeting multiple points um, of the pathway and we're using aspirin uh, as a screen to try and interrogate which are the critical nodes that need to be either inhibited or activated to prevent cancer. One of the very exciting things that we're doing currently um, is to try and look at some of the effects of aspirin in uh, organoids, so these are crypt structures from human colonic epithelium um, and trying to use this as a model system uh, where we can um, 
interrogate uh, some of the effects on the signalling and so the development of human colonic organoids from normal patients and indeed from patients who are genetically predisposed such as um, patients with FAP really gives us um, uh, a good opportunity for trying uh, to investigate these pathways and to try and recapitulate um, human uh, mucosa quite separately from uh, cell line work. The clinical message is that aspirin works and um, the, uh, the, the foundation in bringing together um, lots of researchers uh, to try and answer how it works is, is critical because we do need to know, um, we do need to be able to stratify populations uh, so that we can uh, work out in which patients aspirin will uh, prevent colorectal cancer.